the best that you can be wherever you go and, and show up the, you know, be your mm-hmm. phenomenal self, you know, um, and life and life expands. Don't, don't believe the hype. They try to feed okay. you. Don't believe that hype. That's what I would tell her because the hype is fed to us all the time. All the time. And it From all, all angles. Yes. Yes. And it keeps us yeah. small. Perfect. That's good stuff for little Lacey. (laughs) So be all you can be. Don't be afraid. Lacey, what motivates you and keeps you going? What motivates me? The impact that the work that I do in the world will leave has left. And wanting to continue to make that impact. Mm-hmm. So funny, someone said to me when I was in my show, you know, I was like, you know, is that your thing? Like, you really want to do you want to act? Is that your thing? You want to be, are you into like, are you really want to do the actress thing now? Because I've, you know, been doing, the, you know, the workshop, seminar, empowerment, author mm-hmm. thing. And then I recently came to my theater piece, solo play, actually about three or four years ago. So it was a re- reawakened talent. Okay. okay. Um, so, you know, is that your thing? I was like, you know, well, I'm great at acting. It's not what I'm in love with, but if mm-hmm. I can tell a story that makes an impact through acting, then I'll do it because I right. care about the outcome right? Um, and what it offers people and how it touches them. That's what I care most about. Mm-hmm. So the, the purpose of yeah. what you're doing. Yes. Yeah. So when you talked about the multifaceted person that I am and the many different titles I, <laughs> I have, it's because no matter how I come to the mission, which is about self love, mm-hmm. personal empowerment, uh, self worth. No matter how I come to the mission, I want the mission to be edified. So whether I'm writing okay. a book, whether I'm performing a show, whether I'm writing a script, whether I am, you know, uh, you know, uh, teaching a class, you know, mm-hmm. any of those things that I do, it's really about the core point, which is how do you, how do we embrace self love? How do we understand our value and our worth? Right. Very good. Very good. What's next, Lacey? Thank you for that question. What was next for me is to continue to expand my story. So Phenomenal Everywhere was a solo show. Mm -hmm. Um, It's still a solo show, but I actually have an audio book from the solo show. So it was like, oh, okay. Yes. 30 more, 30 more minutes of content. So the show was like 70, 60 minutes. Okay. The audio book has about 35 more minutes of content. So oh, okay. people saw the show. They didn't get uh, 30 minutes more. They got more, get more, 30 minutes more in the audio book. In the audio. audio book. But I also want to continue to expand the story. So like the story ends with Phenomenal. That's the character's name. So Phenomenal Everywhere is her name. Phenomenal Everywhere. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously it's a play on the concept of phenomenality everywhere and mm-hmm. me being phenomenal everywhere. So it's a lot of different layers to that title. But um the intention really is to, uh, they call it um, multi, what we call it, uh, transmedia. So it's to kind of develop the story. So right now, okay. I want the story to actually be a novel. So it's an audio book oh. right now. It's a solo play. Okay. And I also want to continue uh-huh. to expand. So the point is, at the end of the show, um, she was in one location. And there's mm-hmm. been like nine more since the end of the show, the end of the you know what I mean? The end of the story. Okay. The and so there's Got more it. to talk about. <laughs> okay. There's more experiences. And as I travel, <laughs> obviously my experience here in Mexico and all the above, but as I travel the world, there's more reflection. There's more okay. understanding. There's more growth. There's more development. And so I want to um, be able to share that in a novel form. So that's what I'm working on now. Um, and then, of course, you know, I continue to share the message of self-love for young women mm-hmm. um, and girls and, and women around the world. And um, I have an eight step, again, an eight step empowerment system for young women who are transitioning from high school to college. So if you have young women um, who are in high school, who are getting mm-hmm. ready to go to college, phenomenally use the eight step empowerment system. So just to continue to spread that mission and message, that's basically what I'm committed to until I die. <laughs> All right. All right. That's good. Yeah. That's good. We love it. We love it. It's it's definitely much needed. Thank much you. needed. Thank and you. any idea where you're gonna land once you leave Mexico or I don't know. I mean, play that by? 
you know, let me just say that my intention I went to, to, to Montreal when I was in Canada was to really find a base because I loved that it. it was so close. Because I was like, I lived in, you know, I lived in Asia and it was just far. Even though I loved, I love it. Like, I just loved it. It's just yeah. hard. And I have family, you know what I mean? And, you know, my parents and things that were obviously aging and things of that sort. So right. I want I wanted to be closer and I want them to come to visit me. So, But they right. want to really come and visit me in Asia because it's just, just too far. It's too you know far. I mean? It's too far. So yeah. My point is, um, when I was in Montreal, I wanted to have a base. And then okay. when COVID happened, obviously that wasn't my base anymore. And so I was right. like, well, could Mexico be my base? Maybe. I'm not sure. I haven't really found that space. I haven't really felt like this is the base. You know what I mean? Montreal okay. was okay. the base, but not anymore. So to answer your point, you know, because COVID is just such an interesting thing. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it'll lead me back to the continent. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Again, to okay. me, the continent feels far from my like my family because, again, it's still like seven to eight hours. You know what I mean? With Mexico, yeah. you, know, you, can get, you can get here in three or four hours, depending on where Right, you're exactly. Going. So mm-hmm. it was really about being close. And so we'll see. Okay. And like I I'm definitely interested in obviously in continuing to travel and explore new things and I love that. But I think the issue for me was a base and the issue okay. for me was a base that's close to family. That's close so to they family. Come, right. They can come and visit me and I can, you know, go home no problem. Um so okay. um I'm still exploring that. We'll see. <laughs> so Lacey, what one golden nugget do you want to leave with the audience? Just that you can be, are, if you tap into your truth and authenticity, phenomenal everywhere. Um, you can be phenomenally you. And, you know, discover, create, um, design a life that it is in integrity with you. And, and I think that that's the most important thing, to know that, that you can design a life that's in integrity with you. Um, and at the boxes, they try to stuff you in. You can get out. <laughs> Absolutely. You can get out. Um, I love one of my favorite songs. I think it's my theme song. Is okay. Warren Till's um, song, you, I Get Out of All Your Boxes, I Get Out. It's called I Get Out. That's what it's called. I Get Out. Okay. I Get Out. And it's like, you know, you can't hold me in these chains. I Get Out. You know? Um, so... That's my theme song. So my thing to people is get out, get out of those restrictions, get out of that low self-esteem, get out of that low self-worth and get into creating a life, designing a life that fills an integrity with your soul, integrity with your heart, integrity with your spirit. I think that that's very possible. Mm -hmm. I've done it. um, So people can do it. And I just wish that for folks globally. Thank you for that. You're welcome. That's awesome. (laughs) Thank you. That is awesome. That is awesome. Now, let everyone know how to connect with you. Well, I'm on social media. Not huge, 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 but I'm on um, Instagram at Lacey C. Clark. My name, Lacey C. Clark. Um, That's the easiest way to get in contact with me. They can find out about, you know, Phenomenal Everywhere, which is a solo show. They can actually get a copy Mm -hmm. of the audio book if they want to do that. Um, And then the Phenomenally You, Eight and Step Empowerment System, if they have young women. Um, all of that's available if you go to my link tree on Instagram, which is Lacey C. Clark, L-A-C-E-Y-C-C-L-A-R-K. There's an explanation point at the end of my name is my brand. <laughs> How and why the exclamation okay, point? Okay, really short version is when I was in okay. college, when I was in college my, um, my late roommate, she passed away. Uh, mm-hmm. my sister, my sister, uh, you rank, you know, roommate, all, all the above. Anyway, okay. we, were, we at that time it was about resumes. And finding ways to stand out right. on a resume. Mm-hmm. And the question was, okay, well, how do you stand out on a resume? What do you, you know, what can you do to like, when they're looking at 50 resumes, what will make her stand out? So her thing was bright, bold colors because it matched my personality. And as a person, I can very mm-hmm. like, you know, I'm on a podcast now, but if you see me in person, I'm like 10,000 watts. So people are like, oh my God, you're 10,000 watts. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, 10,000 watts. But I can tone it down sometimes, but we're getting it yeah. as a theater person, as an artist. I'm just like 10,000 watts. Um, okay. But what was the way to kind of encapsulate my energy, my personality, mm-hmm. my dynamic energy, even at the, as a young person? And so mm-hmm. we basically would go to uh, the store and get bright color resume paper. So like okay. my color was like this vibrant yellow. And then oh. it was like, you know, well, what was a way to kind of say your name 
in the way that you kind of are. So it's like, you know, lazy, mm-hmm. you know, like, <laughs> you know, with excitement, you know what I mean? Yeah. I get when I see you, when I feel you, I feel the excitement, I feel energy, I feel, you know, the vibration of good vibes. So um, okay. we'll put exclamation point there. So that was the, how we came to it. It was really about oh, okay. standing out on paper mm-hmm. and then okay. thinking about ways to do that. And so the two ways we came in was like, vibe that bright, 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 vibrant yellow color. Okay. And then, mm-hmm. Uh, exclamation point at the end of my name and so it stuck and that was like the best yeah. way to kind of describe when you think about my name and me it's like think of yeah. with excitement so. yeah and we, because when I first saw your name I was like that's how I said it when I said it I said it, you know with excitement because I'm like there's an exclamation point at the end so <laughs> it's like Lacey C. Clark yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right exactly that's what I want <laughs> yeah that's how I came about good I like that Well, everyone, I encourage you to connect with Lacey, uh, find out more about her programs and just, you know, be inspired by her story because it is a great story that is still evolving. Mm -hmm. So we will have you back, Lacey, for another time to to check in and and let us know what has happened in the gap. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for for shining mm. positivity mm. amongst all mm. the negative that we hear. Mm. It is appreciated. Mm. I received that. Thank you so much, Cassandra. That was beautiful. You're I, re- welcome. I received You're welcome. that. And thank you for allowing me to share my story and thank you for having me on the show. You are so welcome. You're so welcome. (laughs) And that is uh, the end of this episode of Her Voice, Her Story. I'm your host, Cassandra. Until the next time. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Listen, follow, share on Spotify, Apple, TuneIn, Alexa, iHeartRadio, Player FM. Connect with us online on Facebook, Her Voice, Her Story, and on IG at Cass underscore HVHS. Tune in next week when Cassandra talks to another awesome woman of color. Until the next time, this is Her Voice, Her Story.